Yes, it's Monkey here, and today we're going to learn how to make the switch, as I like to call it, from Eclipse to IntelliJ. Now, before we start the video, I want to say IDEs are a personal preference. It's nothing that anyone should tell you, hey, you have to change to this IDE. You know, of course, unless someone is you know, hiring you for a server to be a developer and you, you need to use a different IDE. But apart from that, if it's just personal stuff that you make, you know, you can choose any ID you want. Personally, I love IntelliJ, which is why, you know, I use it. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. First off, you can go into this page. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And you're going to download the Community Edition, because it's free. Or you can download the Ultimate Edition for a 30-day free trial. But Community Edition is fine. You don't need the Ultimate Edition. Anyways, you're going to see a screen like this. None of this is going to be here. You're going to create a new project, but let me just load up one. Um, I loaded up my other screen. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and create a new project so that you guys actually see how to do everything. So, you're going to see this page, and I know I've said it many, many times. Maven tutorial, it's coming soon. It's just that right now I just want to teach you guys how to set up the project and that's it. So just click Java. Use any SDK you want. I use Java 8 whenever you know I'm working with servers that run Java 8. If you do not have a server running with Java 8, if it's something like a shared hosting company, which th you're using, they're most likely using Java 8. So yeah, select Java 8 next. And you're going to have to name your project. Mine is going to be Tutorial 2 because obviously I already have a project named Tutorial. So this is the default workspace where you know it was set by obviously default as already said. If you did not change it, that's where it should be. You click finish, okay, because I um, apparently already had a project named Java 2. I think I didn't really see that message. But so now you have this project. Now there's a very very big difference from IntelliJ to Eclipse when it comes to like the projects here. Tutorial V2 isn't exactly the plugin or the Java application that I want to make. This is, you know, the project where, let's just say that I have a season two of bucket programming, whatever, bucket spigot programming. Um, this is where all of my episodes would be. And let's say I have a new project called uh, Paid Spigot Resources. And inside that project, I would have like, so uh, this spigot plugin, then another spigot plugin, another spigot plugin. However, those are called modules. So these are are um, the projects themselves. And then if you right-click New Module, but again Java 7, and let's just call this one I don't know something like PVP. Okay. And you have a new folder here. You and you have a source folder. New package org it's monkey kit PVP. A new Java class get PVP, PVP, and then you have your Java class. So, um, let's say I want to add another plugin like the Ender Pearl cooldown. I don't know, uh, Ender Pearl cooldown, and then I have this here source folder new package org. It's monkey dot Ender Pearl cooldown down, and I put a comma here instead of a period. Okay. New Java class under under Perl. Cool. I don't okay, it took a very long time with that. I'm very sorry. Um, that's just to show you guys how it works. Like these are two separate plugins that I'm gonna make. I'm not, I'm not gonna make them, but um, that you know, if I was actually planning on making them, this is how I would do it. Now you can also like you don't need these. You can just make a plugin off of the project, which I don't like personally again personal preference I don't like to do that however it is possible and you know there's really nothing wrong with that so let's go ahead and continue now you will need your bucket or spigot jar I recommend using spigot um, you're gonna have to download it this is not a tutorial on how to get it and you can download it off of many pages but you just click here it's project structure or you can go to file project structure go to libraries and little plus sign Java. And you're gonna navigate to where you put your spigot or bucket jar. 
I'm gonna go to desktop, okay, jars, and I should have spigot 1.8, let's just use 1.8.1, and then you can add them to however many modules you want, I'm gonna do all of them, okay, apply, and okay. So now we have the module, I mean the dependency set up for all of our modules, and we can just do extends, java, plugin, and that is how you get your spigot jar in there. Let's just go ahead and do something real quick. Public void on enable. We just do cell um, switching over to IntelliJ is very easy. Yes, in fact it is. So let's go ahead and create a little plugin.yml. Well, it's not really needed. However, I'm going to show you guys how to export your plugin. So let's just say that you have your plugin.yml in there already. All cool stuff. You registered all your commands, your main class, all that great stuff. So now you want to, you know, export your jar. Obviously, this is a little bit different from Eclipse. So make sure you follow along. Go back here into Project Structure. You go to Artifacts plus sign Jar from Modules with Dependencies. Click that. And then Module. Let's select Kip PVP. Then hit OK. Now this is very, very, very important. You see here where it says Output output layout you see extracted spigot 1.8 no remove that that's very 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 bad that's the reason that a lot of people have jars that are that are huge file size something like that so yeah make sure to remove that then name we just want kip pp it doesn't have to be name like that and then we can just go into wherever we want the plugin to be exported uh, for me I'll want to go into desktop and test server plugins. OK, apply, and OK. So now when we are all finished with our plugin. We can just go up here to build, build artifacts, and build. Now it's going to make our plugin, as you can see down here. And it's been made. So yeah, guys. Well, it, also, one thing. If you select the normal destination for it, for where you want it to go, it'll be an out, and then it should be down here. You should have a jar. So yeah. Um, now I, I want to show you the same thing, but with the other one. Now, reason being is because you guys will see something different. So let's go ahead and do extends Java plugin. As you can see, I also have the dependency on this module because I did add it, as you guys saw before. So let's go ahead and go to project structure, artifacts, add another artifact for modules with dependencies, and let's go into what is this under pro cooldown? Okay. And then remember, remove this one, name it whatever you want. And I'm going to leave this one as a default destination just for you guys to see. Apply, OK. Now, if you go to build, build artifacts, you're going to have two options build under pro cooldown or build kit PvP. I really want to show you guys this because you know, it's something you should know. Or you can just build every single artifact and they will go to their default destinations. I'm going to just build under pro cooldown, build. It's making it. And then we have our new out folder artifacts under pro cooldown under pro cooldown dot jar. There it is. So yeah, guys, that's about it. I really can't think of anything else. If you guys want to know about anything else, I can make a version two or a follow up to this video because you know switching to IntelliJ is very useful and easy if you know what you're doing. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and see you all later.